All this week, Denver 7 is raising money for Food Bank of the Rockies through our seven days to help end hunger campaign. In fact, you can scan the QR code that appears on your screen throughout the morning to donate or go to Denver7.com. And this morning, Denver 7's Rob Harris shows us a program getting older adults the meals they need without having to leave home. The journey through life can take you a lot of places. When Peggy Nelson's journey took her through a layoff from her retail job, she knew she was at a fork in the road. I really wanted to do something else, and the, the food bank just sounded like a really great place to, to work. So Nelson found a life on the road. Do you have a ballpark on like the number of boxes you deliver or the number of miles you drive? Well, I'll tell you what, we got the van brand new. It's got 40,000 miles on it now. <laughs> Nelson spends every work week out driving across the metro delivering meals for the Food Bank of the Rockies Everyday Eats program. It gets nutritious food to seniors in need every month. I have 28 stops today, so I'm going to be pretty busy all day long, but that's good. The food in these boxes keep Nelson's recipients physically nourished. Pasta and rice, protein. But maybe just as important. I am meeting Yolanda and her husband, and she should be waiting at the door for me. Nelson's hand deliveries nourish a need for connection for people who might not always get enough of it. There you are. Hey, how you Hi. doing, Miss Peggy? Oh, I'm good. Yolanda Howard also knows how life's journey can take you to unexpected places. It's good to see you. It's good to see you, Miss Peggy. I sure thank God for you. She moved to Colorado more than a decade ago and has had to deal with both her own disability and her husband's. We got some spaghetti squash in the bag today. Oh, good. With the apples and the pears. That is wonderful. We sure need it. Howard doesn't know where she'd be without this helping hand. Mm -mm. It's hard because when you're on a fixed income, you don't know what the day tomorrow going to bring. So you just thank God for what you get. Thanks to these Everyday Eats boxes, Howard and her husband have enough to the point that she can be generous with others and share meals with her neighbors and then share the good news with Peggy Nelson. I said, well, Peggy, I know you got to go, but I appreciate you. I yeah. just want to know, I appreciate you so much from the bottom of my heart. Oh, and me know. and my husband, we love you. We love you. Well, you know, I love seeing everybody. <laughs> a delivery and a warm interaction, and then Peggy Nelson has to hit the road again. She has 27 more stops just today. Sometimes I drive 100 miles in a day, so I am all over the city. But the long days and the long journeys are well worth it. It just really warms my heart when I knock on their door and they open it and they smile. I was just thinking about you, Peggy, they'll say. And I'll go, really? And they're just, I mean, they're so grateful. For Denver 7. They very much appreciate it. I'm Rob Harris. Uh, yeah, we, we met Peggy at uh, when we were out at the food bank on Monday. Such a great lady. Uh, today, starting at 4 p.m., volunteers will be able to take your calls to make a donation to help families in need. Uh, so keep this number handy, 303-777-7492. Denver 7 Gives is matching the first $10,000 in donations.